welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here hi welcome to whatever this is so once again it's been um a hot minute since i uploaded anything and i really don't have any excuse because it's not like i've been busy or anything it's more just like felt like a lot <laughs> i don't know i really i mean i barely get like 15 hours at work a week if i'm lucky so it's not like i'm busy at work it's just i don't know it's felt like a lot i'm sure a lot of you are feeling are feeling that way too. I've been really tired lately. I really, I don't know why. I have no idea why I'm so tired all the time, even though I get plenty of sleep. So I just haven't felt like recording any videos, but I felt like it today. I literally am not going anywhere. It's actually almost dark. Like it's already 5 p.m. <laughs> past, I think it's like past 5 p.m. So I'm not going anywhere, but I just feel like doing my makeup and kind of getting ready because that just kind of makes me feel good sometimes. So I'm going to do that. And in positive news, the glitter eyes. <laughs> I have ordered three things <laughs> from U2's. Um, I got Jax Films. I ordered um, James A. Janice. Um, and I ordered Marky Moo here. Um, Mark actually got here early. Uh, Jax Films, my Jax Films one was very delayed, and then my James A. Janice one, I got him, and then I also got the chainsaw, and that is delayed until mid December. I got the email for it, even though the chainsaw is here, but the YouTube's video isn't here. I ordered three things from them, and all three of them I've had issues with. So if in some bizarre dreamland, if I don't know, like Uncle Peter Mon says, if it, in Hogwarts, if I ever end up for some reason having a YouTube figurine, which is insane to even think about, I, that would never happen. But if it did, I would be like, y'all better make sure that it'll get there in a decent amount of time because I've been fighting with this company just to get my stuff, like, that I paid for. And you have to pre-order it, like, a month ahead of time. And then it doesn't ship until a month or two after. And then with the delays and stuff, like, I get stuff weeks or months after they were supposed to ship out, so... Whatever. Mark is here. I wish, I kind of wish the glasses were removable. That would be a cool touch, but I mean, they do stick out from the, um, from out, out from his face. So I think that's a nice touch. Somehow these shipped early, though, I think. And I'm like, then why is my, why is James shipping, like, a month late? Whatever. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm bitching too much. It's not really that important. But I've been applying at a lot of jobs and stuff, because... My current job, as much as I love it, it's working with animals. It's just the management is poor, so it's pretty rough. And the dogs, a lot of the dogs aren't trained very well, so it's just not what I hoped it would be. Plus, like I said, they can only give me like 15 hours a week, $10 an hour. So that's like 300 to 350 every other week. And that's just not enough to make a living off of, and I really want to be able to move out and, you know, live on my own. I just, I, I know I want a career, not a, not just another job. So I've been applying at quite a few places, even places that I wouldn't have thought, you know, that don't sound fun per se, but that are actual careers and I could make a living off of, because I just, I mean, obviously I would love for, um... YouTube to be my job, but the videos and stuff that I think that I want to do require paying for stuff or buying things. Like, I would love to do DIY, like furniture, uh, de de decor, you know, decorating. I love to decor and, um, like beauty stuff like this, try out new products and stuff. Like, I, would, I really want to try Fenty Beauty and I want to try, um, Rare Beauty. I love both. I love Selena Gomez, so, so I really want to try try those things, but I just don't have the disposable income to be able to comfortably, you know, to comfortably pay for that stuff. So I'm very limited on what I can do, really, especially with Christmas coming up and where I work. I have a 1099 instead of um, with the regular tax thing, so instead of taxes being taken out every paycheck. They're not taken out at all. Like, I have to pay for them, which means when tax time comes, I'll have to pay those taxes right then. So it'll have to come out of my pocket. <laughs> so I'm going to have to save up money, not only in a regular savings account, but also set aside money for taxes. And <laughs> that's just not going to happen. So, <sighs> yeah, I'm looking for a new job. 
So yeah, I really have two main goals right now. Um, one is to lose weight and just kind of get healthier overall. Uh, it's December first, so I'm gonna start working out again starting today. Even though I really didn't get, I didn't sleep that much last night. I'm just so tired all the time, and I don't know why. Like, I, people say, well, maybe if you work out, you'll you'll have more energy. But I'm like, this is a vicious vicious cycle where I need energy to be able to work out. <laughs> but how do I get energy, you know, without working out? So it's like I can't. Um, it's this vicious cycle that I'm just gonna have to start doing it again and I'm just gonna have I'm gonna have to do it no matter how tired I am because you know I'm sick of being unhealthy and fat and uncomfortable in my skin my own skin and I just feel like I'm at kind of a stalemate in my life right now I have been for a long time I've never really known what I wanted I kind of knew what I wanted to do but never actually did <laughs> I guess, like, the motivation was just never there to do it. Um, so now I'm kind of at the point where I'm in my mid-20s, and I really don't know what, what I want to do with the rest of my life. And it's really scary because, you know, I wake up in the middle of the night, and I'm, like, panicked, and I'm having, like, these <laughs> crises where I'm like, what am I going to do? Oh, my God, i got to figure out something. i got to... You know, get my own, my own, a real job, and I gotta get my own house, and, you know, so, I don't know. I'm just focused on finding good paying jobs, even though they don't really sound fun. Like, I've applied at the Nader's Pest Raiders, you know, the pet, um, the pest control company. I mean, I live in Florida, so there's always gonna be the need for those. Um, obviously not what... I really want to do. Now, it doesn't sound like the most fun thing, but, you know, part of being an adult is doing sh shiznits you don't want to do. So I've been applying places like that, and I've been doing my best to, despite uh, how little I'm being paid and the unreliable hours, which is something I'm really looking for. I really want stability. You know, I really want reliable hours, a full-time job, and reliable income because really the my job right now entirely depends on how many clients my bosses have it's a very small business um, and so if they don't have a lot of clients our hours are cut I mean our cut hours have already been cut we used to have two people per shift and now it's one person per shift and I don't remember how many how many people we have work how many co-workers I have it's only like four maybe four or five at the most um so it's just I love working with the dogs I love dogs so much but I just can't rely on the income you know and I would love it's such a pipe dream right now but I would love to be able to make YouTube my career but I feel like I can't really do that until I have a reasonable budget where I can actually make a bunch of videos that I want to make because like I said I want to do DIYs I want to buy like old furniture and and do and redo remake them you know make them pretty again I love there's I have like there's a couple um, resale shops uh, just down the road from me I mean one of them is packed like it has two front doors and you can only go through one of them because the other one has so much stuff packed up against it on the other side that you can't even open that door. Like, they have a lot of cool stuff. I love, you know, I love um, getting old stuff, used stuff and making it new and I think that would be kind of a fun series to do. And I can really use more furniture. Like, my, my little cottage that I live in on my dad's property is very much lacking in furniture. Um... So it's like I have these ideas to do for videos, but the ones that I can think of are difficult to do with the budget that I have and the equipment that I have right now. Like, like really all I can do is um, do videos like reacting to stuff or video games and I mean that just, it depends on if I can find a game that I like. Oh, 
by the way, I'm, just, I'm still using shape tape. I mean, <laughs> all these video, all these products I've used are. If you've seen my previous get together with get ready with me, they're the same products. Cause again, I don't have the money to be buying a bunch of makeup. Um, but I would really like. It is an ultimate goal of mine to be able to do YouTube as my career. I love it so much. Like, I spend so much time on YouTube. Like, it's the only thing I watch. I don't have TV. Like, I don't have cable TV. I really rarely watch Netflix after the whole, you know, cuties fiasco. I'm kind of leery of it. Um, so, YouTube is, like, my go-to source of entertainment. And I'd really love to add to it at some point you know, more than I do right now. Like, I'd love to be able to do a couple of videos a week, but I'm like, what would I do? <laughs> really? Uh, so I'm just kind of doing, obviously, like, random beauty videos and video game videos, but uh, I'm thinking I might do more reaction videos. I know people, if there's anyone actually watching this, you're probably looking at my content, like, the last couple of videos you posted were gaming, and then you had then you have like commentary and reaction videos. What is your what is, what exactly are you doing with your channel? And my response to that is I don't know. <laughs> That's why the tagline is welcome to whatever this is. Because I have so many different interests, like, you know, I'm sure everyone does. And I have a lot of different things that I'd like to make videos on, but I know for a fact that I'm not one of those people that could have multiple channels. Like I when I used to be on Tumblr <laughs> I couldn't even handle having two accounts on there and that wasn't, you know, having to do videos and thumbnails and editing and all this stuff, you know, the banner and all that stuff. It was, that was just posting on there, which was much more simple, you know, comparatively to, uh, to YouTube. And I couldn't even do that, I couldn't even do that reliably. <laughs> so there's just no way that I would be able to be able to do that and I want to be able to have um, a consistent upload schedule but I just don't know what I would really do you know I, uh, I'm not like I can't I'm not someone who can vlog I don't think I'm that I'm not interesting enough as a person I don't think to be able to uh, to be able to do that because I mean I can watch like there are some people that I can sit and watch and just like, watch an hour-long vlog of them just talking about their lives. Oh my god, you're, this is so fun. Like, this is so interesting. Like, I could watch this all day, you know? And the funny thing is, is it's not like these people that I'm watching have these crazy, glamorous lives where, like, they're constantly doing really impressive things, oh, buying a Lambo or, you know, whatever. They're just like, oh, I went to Starbucks today, <laughs> you know? This really mundane things, and they are able to make it interesting. I just, I don't think I'd be able to do that, because literally, I, if I'm not going to work, I get up and I have coffee, eat something, and then I <laughs> play something on my computer. Like, how do you make that interesting? I don't know. Um, speaking of uh, my computer... Yesterday, I just, uh, got my, um, my new stick of RAM, which I'm super excited about because, um, I've been playing, um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla just, like, obsessively. I love that game so much. People, I've been seeing a lot of people, like, complaining about that game, and I can see why people who, uh, love the original Assassin's Creed games wouldn't like it because it's very Witcher 3 RPG style now, but considering the first game I played like that was The Witcher 3, and I came off of playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey, I love it. I love that game. I think it's so fun. Um, I love, I still think Origins, Origins is the best, just because I love Bayek. I think he's a really fun, well-rounded character. Um, but I'm really enjoying Valhalla, which kind of surprised me when I first saw the, uh, the trailer, I was like, Vikings? It's not really what comes to mind when I think of 
an assassin. It's not a Viking, but it works pretty well, I think. It's much less assassin y than uh, the other games. But when I went back and played 3, I think it was, yeah, with was it 3, with Connor, dude, like, I got bored and I was, the, the combat is so different from the current games that it was really frustrating to play, in my opinion. <laughs> Like, I rushed through that main story to finish it, and then I haven't touched it since. I was so bored, yet so frustrated at the same time, which is kind of a weird, weird scenario, but that was how it was. Um, and I thought about doing a playthrough for Assassin's Creed um, Valhalla, but that would be such a lengthy playthrough <laughs> that I don't think it would really be worth it, because I'm someone who does a lot of exploring. I don't just play through the through the main through the main story so i just don't imagine i feel like it'd just be frustrating for people to watch me running all over the place and doing everything under the sun <laughs> instead of just playing the main story i do a lot of exploring and it would be a super long series but i did think about it so but yeah i went from having um uh eight gigs to 16 gigs of ram and i was having a lot of problems with valhalla it was like it was really choppy and laggy and stuff, and I had crashes all the time. And now I don't have that problem at all, so it's really nice. I'm really enjoying it. I'm, it's like such a relief. Like, the game is running so much smoother. I think my computer just kind of in general is running much smoother. But considering how much I paid for it, it's a very good thing. <laughs> very relieving. I, it was so stressful trying to find the right RAM, too, because I'm, like, looking and... There's so many different kinds, and it, it's hard to find the right one. So when it arrived yesterday, early by the way, which was really nice, I was like, oh my god, I hope, I hope this is the right one. If it's not, there's going to be a lot of cursing coming from my cottage, and people are going to hear it up and down the street. Because I'm, I got it from Newegg, and I did the, through PayPal, I did the, I didn't even know pay, PayPal had a payment system, like a increment four payments or something but I did that so I didn't have to pay for the whole thing up front which is really nice but I'm like god how is that gonna work I'm doing a payment plan and if this is this isn't the right one how am I gonna exchange it or return it with a payment plan going on but luckily it fit just fine and it's running just fine and it's really nice I played the sims 4 as well which has really long load times for me I think because I have so many mods installed <sighs> It was barely improved, I gotta be honest. Like, it wasn't nearly as much as I was hoping for with The Sims 4. I'm thinking, I mean, with that payment plan, I'm thinking I might just get, like, I might order a second stick of RAM so then I have three. I mean, why not? If I can get, get it for a good price, it'd definitely be worth it. I don't know. Maybe I just need to chill for a second. I feel like I'm missing something. Am I missing something? Okay. Foundation concealer, bronzer, setting powder, uh, bronzing kind of, contouring kind of. I'm not missing anything, am I? I feel like I'm missing something. Um, what was I talking about? Well, yeah, my game. Game stuff, so yeah. That's kind of pointless stuff I was talking about. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, oh, I did want to say that um, if I... If I get serious about losing weight, I think I can do it because I lost, like, I was at 180 a few years ago and I got down to the 150s, which is the lightest I've been in years. God, looking back on that is, I thought I was too fat. I thought I was really fat back then when I had lost that weight. Looking back on it, I wish, I wish I could be that weight right now. Um... I'm going with a combination with my allergies and my fatigue. Like, I feel like it's going to be so hard to lose weight again, but I know I can do it. I know I can do it. I've done it before. That's really the thing I fall back on is I've done it before. So, you know, what's to stop me from um, doing it again, you know? Like, if I've lost, I lost the weight before, and even though my brain wants to tell me that it's impossible, I know I can do it because I've done it before. So it's not like it's a... Um, it never happened before thing. I've I've done it successfully. The only problem is that the book that I used back then 
was the Zero Belly Smoothies. I have the Zero Belly Diet book, but I don't know. I lost the the smoothie book in the move, and I'm really disappointed in myself because I love that book. It had so many good recipes for smoothies, and that was what I used to lose the weight before. Um, so luckily the uh, the book I have right now, the Zero Belly Diet, has some smoothie recipes in it. So I'm just going to go back to drinking smoothies, two smoothies a day, a couple snacks, and then a dinner. And I'm going to do 21 Day Fix from Beachbody, which is, again, the program I used last time. And it was four years ago now. I just hope, I mean, I'm definitely not that much older, but I just hope that the age difference doesn't prevent me from being able to lose the weight like I did before. Because I just, I feel like, like, my life would improve so much if I could just lose weight and I could be a healthy, confident, happy weight, you know. So, I don't really know. Um, a lot of uncertainty in the world, of course, but in my life in particular. Um, but I'm hopefully on the path of figuring, of figuring it out. Anyway, I'm just going to use these. I'm not going to do anything with my hair other than just put dry shampoo in it because, again, I'm not actually going anywhere. I might record some videos, or at least one video, hopefully. I'll, just, I'll have to find, think of something that I could make a video on because I really want to make this, you know, a thing. Alright, but I really didn't get, like I said, I really didn't get very good sleep last night, so kind of dragging ass, although I, I always am. Um, what else did I want to talk about? My computer, the U2s, job hunting, lack of video ideas, what I want to do, oh, my health stuff. I haven't decided on if I want to, um, like, record my fitness journey, my fitness journey, or just post updates. Because recording myself working out at this stage would just be really fucking sad and um, just <laughs> be miserable to look at. So I don't know that that would be so good for uh, for my confidence. So I probably, if I had to guess, I probably won't record myself working out. At least not for, you know, like a month or something before um, until I can get kind of back into the groove, because I used to love, I used to love working out, like, after I'd lost a good amount of weight, and, um, I was feeling good, I was looking good, I was like, oh my gosh, I feel so great about myself, the lightest I've ever been, I've been working out for at least a month or two at that point, so I was used to working out six days a week, and my body felt good, I was good at doing the, the workouts and stuff, and I actually didn't mind, I don't know if I enjoyed working out, but I definitely didn't mind it anymore. It made me feel strong because 21 Day Fix is a lot of, um, I mean, it's cardio too stuff, but it's mostly, well, it's a lot of weights and strength training, which I love strength training. I hate cardio. I hate cardio with a passion, other than swimming. I love to swim. But I love strength training because I'm good. I'm much better at anything with weights than I am with cardio. But it's important for your heart health and just in general and not getting winded when going up the stairs, <laughs> which is always nice. Can use that. Uh, so that's what I really enjoyed about 21 Day Fix is it was a mixture. It was like HIIT and strength training, and some cardio, yoga too. They do yoga and there's a day of yoga and a day of Pilates. So. You really get a good mixture of stuff, which I think is really helpful to have a balanced um, fitness program. So it kind of lays it all out for me. I just got to get back on it. And yeah, I am using Amber Scholl's um, makeup stuff again. I think she said she might be coming back out with it. I always use After Hours, as you can tell from the pan. I have to order reorder my Carly Bible palette because I have dropped it a couple times or it's fallen it's not my fault it's not my fault <laughs> and quite a few of the shadows are 
busted beyond repair. So I have to, I gotta order a new one of that. Hopefully that'll be, I can order that soon. Although, I mean, unless I get that new job I applied for, I don't really wear makeup ever because I go to work with dogs and bathing them and picking up their poo and playing with them and cleaning their kennels and stuff. So not really any point wearing makeup there, that's for sure. But, uh, basically, so yeah, my goal right now is to make more videos, find an actual career job, not just a job job, not just a, just finding something to make money, you know, in, in a short time frame, just I gotta find something to make money, get an actual career so I can move. And if I were to get the job that, um, I applied for recently, which is probably unlikely, I'd have to get a couple licenses to be able to do the job, but that was, it wasn't a requirement to have the licenses, so. Hopefully that won't work against me. I said I was willing and able to get the licenses, which I am. Very willing and able to get the licenses, so. Hopefully I'll have a chance. If I got that job, I wouldn't have to worry about money anymore. I could move my, get my own house and my own dog, more, most importantly. Or my own cat. I might, uh, I might have to start with a cat, actually, if, if I was being realistic. Maybe I'd start with a small dog. I love dogs. And then I'm just going to use the Wet n Wild, um, Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner. I'm not going to use mo much, just enough to get a bit of color on my dry ass chapped lips. I drink so much water. They shouldn't they shouldn't be this chapped. Ugh. Um but yeah if I can get a actual job or a career. Oh fuck I totally fucked that up. If I can get an actual career, get a good, reliable income, then I'd be able to do a lot more, fuck that up, <laughs> a lot more with my channel. Which, like I said, is at this point very much so a complete pipe dream, but really my ultimate goal would be to um, make YouTube my job. Alright, I'm not going to bother to fix that. I could probably fix that up, but again, I'm not going anywhere. It doesn't matter. Um, wet and Wild Natural Finish. Uh... So yeah, that is it. Hopefully I will, my battery is almost going to die, so I'm going to have to end this video. But yeah, this is basically the completed look. I don't really deal with much with my makeup anyway. Um, so let me know what you think down below. Um, let me know how you're doing. I know we're in really tumultuous times right now. It can be really tough, but just want you to hang in there. Um, like I said, comment down below. Let me know how you're doing, what you thought of this video, what you think I should do next, whatever. And, um... Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye!